all right welcome back friends all right we're going to do some exercises with number bonds but first we're going to explain once again what number bond looks like so that when we start the work you can do it so we said when we have the whole it has two parts moving out of it it means it's just breaking it up so whether i turn the whole i turn the paper this way or not no matter what the orientation is we should be able to still see which part is the whole and which one is the part so this is the whole because it has two parts moving out of it into these parts right so this is whole and this is part and part so we have part part whole so in this case this is part part we put it together to have a whole say part part whole let's try again part part whole good so here we have the part part we put it together to make the whole if we're turning like this this is the part and the part we put it together here becomes the whole we're turning like this this is the part part we put it together here is the whole so for example one two three four five so this is the whole group we can break it up into a part and another part 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 come together into the whole so let's label it once more this is the whole and this is part and this is part okay all right so now we are going to play this game where we are going to identify where the part is where the hole is and what's missing okay ready are you ready yes okay so here we go this is the first number game what number is this six six so let me count six one two three four five and six five and one more makes six right and so in this game it's saying the whole group is six if one is moved how many left to move here five. five good so we have five left to move here so that's how simple the game is when you're done you turn the back to see if you got it right you got it right give me a high five all right let's see what the next one is here we have six five and one more makes what six. six and it's saying we are moving how many in here five. five so we move five how many do we have left to move in there one. one so we move it in there so the whole group is six five and one so when we have five and one put together we have six right yes so what two numbers can make six? Five, five and, and one. Yes. All right. So we can break up six into five and one. So when we put five and one together, what do we have now? Six. Six. All right. Let's see what's on the next game board. Oh, this one is tricky. See, it's giving us five and one, but it's asking us what will the whole group be if we have one here and we have five what would the whole group be what do you think it will be six. six why do you think it will be six we have five and one why do you think it will be six because there's five blocks and one block and makes six yes because when we have five and one we put it together we have six yes. all right let's see what the next game is hmm that might be the last one for today what are these numbers we have six, six and, four. and four but what do you think this is is this the whole or the part no what what is that is it whole or is it part whole whole why do you say it's whole because it's at the top okay what if i turn it like this is it still whole yes okay so why is it a whole because it's on top no because it has those two lines breaking out of it so it's telling you it's breaking it up so the whole is breaking up into different numbers okay 
All right, so we have six, but it's telling us we already have been told to put four in the part. So we're going to put four in the part. One, two, three, four. How many do we have left to put in the other part? One. Are you sure? When you look here, how many more do we have left to put two. in the other part? Two, yeah, because we remember we had six. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. So if we put four in here, how we many? Have two. We have two to put in there. All right, so that's a simple game. Take a paper, draw the numbers, and see if you can do the game. After the game, you're going to go ahead and write the number statements for the game. So for example, for this particular one, the number statements will be five, plus one equals what? So we see we had five and we had one. We had so six. when we move it together, we have what? Six. Six, all right, so equals six. So we should be able to write that. So now, here, we will have to use the subtraction, which some of you remember if you remember the subtraction, this is a time to use the subtraction because you have six. You take away five. And how many do you have? One. One. All right. So you have two more over here and you're going to do it yourself and give me the number statements, okay? All right, enjoy.